we've got an area of track here that used to call Suicide Alley. How do you overcome that? We were coming home from Port Augusta at 2.30 in the morning and I seen this movement through the trees, which I thought was an animal. Uh, but when we straightened up and the lights shone, on, it was a, a young girl. She just stood up in front of us and we ran over her. But we knew we had no hope of stopping at all. And we ran over her. What did I say to my family? I got him out of bed and I said, I need to talk to you. And uh, I just said that I'd run over the young girl. And I couldn't say much more than that at that time. I was on a, a four car train. I noticed on the downside of the platform near the bridge, a young girl just standing there with a can of coke in her hand and she jumped straight in front of the intercity train coming the other way and, and it all happened like it was in slow motion, you know, like this beautiful person just jumping in front of a train and, and I just thought, wow, what, what happened there? You can hear the bang on the front of the train and if you're going at a reasonable pace, you know, it's history for them. and, and it, gives you this bad feeling inside of you and that really got to me in a way that um, I felt very sorry for them. And... The hardest thing to get over from the incident that I had was the images. I've had uh, three fatalities now. Um, one of the looks on their face is, is that look of, oh my God, and that's it. And, and that's a look that will never leave you. I think it'd be a great idea if the industry got on board and, and got behind all train drivers and train crewing that were involved in fatalities and, and helped them out of that hole because they're in that hole for a while. We all need to be aware and alert to, to what's happening um, with accidents, fatalities and all this sort of thing. And we all want to keep ourselves and the public safe. And I love my job. It's one of the best jobs in the world and uh, I'm very proud of it.